fully focused on boxing again. You know what I mean? I'm lo loving the sport and enjoying the sport again. Um, doing what I need to do to win. You know what I mean? And I'm being 100% focused and mentally right and, and physically right. And I'm back now on a good winning run. Two big names, another big name coming up. And then I think we push on after that. Obviously, I'm not looking past Troy. For what he's done, he's a really good fighter, but I f don't feel like he's boxed no one really. And um, he's inexperienced. I don't think he has done 12 rounds yet. So he's in deep water here and made the best man win, but I just believe it's a bit too soon for him. I think with a lot of Frank Warren fighters, he gets them to a certain uh, good record and chucks him in to sink or swim, do you know what I mean? And uh, I believe he'll sink. He, he's a good fighter on paper, but we're going to see on, on fight night. What he's doing a lot, if you look, like look, I, I I'm appreciate the respect, but he's overdoing the, listen, me and Ted are friends. Ted's a really good fighter, don't thingy, because he's sort of building me up. So if anything does go wrong, He's covered, look, he did say I was a good fighter, it was hard fighting. So if I do lose, it ain't really that bad, do you know what I mean? When he should be in the attitude of when I was unbeaten, I didn't really care about no one. I thought I was unbeatable and, and as a fighter, you get a bit deluded and do, do do that. But I think at the moment he's showing me a lot of respect because he knows he's in for a really tough fight and he's not too sure, he's not fully confident on winning. Before, for a little while, we'd come to the point where I was just walking people down. And now, they don't know what they're getting. Um, a, B or C, a bit of both. And listen, it could be a 12 round war again. I could box clever and he might not touch me, or it might be like you don't know. But, as I said earlier, I think no matter what way it is, it, the fights always end up turning out entertaining. Obviously, he's got to put a front up. He's a fighter, he has to believe he's going to win. Otherwise, he wouldn't take the fight. But there will be a lot of doubts in his head going into the fight. Should I push the pace early? Should I not push the pace? Should I try and save my energy? Should I try and load up? Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of things. Because he's going into the unknown. I, I, I've done these 12 rounds, I think, about, I think eight or nine times, something like that. But eight, nine, 12 rounds, even the last fight went 11 rounds, but it's 11, 11 tough rounds. Do you know what I mean? So I, I've got the rounds, I know I can do the rounds. My camps are hard, I get through them. I, I work really hard. Everyone in the gym knows I'm a, I'm a really, really fit fighter. And I, I just, listen, no disrespect to try. I just believe now this is my last hurdle before I push on. And I could have pushed on already, I think, but it'd be nice to get this fight, another winning, another good win against another unbeaten fighter, and then push on. I think I'm fourth in the IVF now, so. Tizu, I think, is fighting for the WBO um, against Castano. Then you've got someone like Jack Kolkai. You know what I mean? It'd be good for a final eliminator or start something for the IBF. And these are fights I believe are, are, are both, both of them's fights. I think I can beat either of them. You know what I mean? Whoever wins out of them two, I feel like I can beat. And Jack Kolkai, I feel like I could beat. Do you know what I mean? Or whoever's there who, who I can fight for eliminator. So, these are all possibilities, but as you say, it's um, about keep on learning, keep on stay focused and what Tony and Charlie want me to do, I'll do. I feel like the competition at British level is a lot harder probably than at that European level. I think with a lot of weights sometimes, at the time when I fought Garcia, he was a really good European champion, but a lot of ways it's like British level is really good, European sometimes not as hard and then world level is like a massive jump, do you know what I mean? But as you say, I've got to beat Troy first and I'm fully focused on that. But I think as the rounds go on, we start to, to, start to tire and I believe I'll get him out there in the later rounds.